Alright, here we are in north of Moorhead, Minnesota on this lovely Saturday afternoon-ish. Just going for a drive for the sake of going for a drive. Got anything you want to say to the YouTubers? You're awesome. Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, we love them more, better than we love our own family. <laughs> I want to pull a page out of somebody's book here, but I think the person's gonna, I don't know. I watch Big O. Yeah. Down in Kingsport, Tennessee. Had to do a little shout out on that. But take a page out of his book and show kind of do these little trips on the tank pool type thing. Just kind of show the surrounding area. Yeah. May not so, be for everybody. what Minnesota's got going on. Yeah, it may not be for everybody, but I know I enjoy it, so I guess if nothing else. I guess I view it as people want to watch. Great. If not, no harm done. I just want to take a page out of Big O's book and kind of start showing the surrounding area and just kind of change up the content a little bit on what we do and just kind of show what Minnesota's got going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to be picky on where we record for the time being because the last few days we had snow and depending on what part of the region you get to some people got it, I think in like I think in Minot for example had something like two feet of snow that's North Dakota yep but that's quite a ways from where we are so that's four hours long west of here oh easily that is Yep. Uh, Minot is four hours from uh, west of here. Yep. Uh, here we are in Craigness, Minnesota. Yeah, literally you blink and you miss it. No kidding, huh? Yep. But the only thing this place has got really is those green elevators. Do you want to go into town or do you want to just keep going? I, I think the back of this is town. <laughs> My bad. The White House? Yep. That's what they call this one, is the White House. <laughs> they do wedding parties and all out there. Ah, I was wondering what that place is for. Yeah. You can do wedding parties, receptions, you know, tie in with all that. Yeah. All kinds of different stuff there. You can just have a family gathering whatever. Ah. They'll rent it out to pretty much any any function you want to hold. Huh. The only thing I think they shy away from is like like the 8K Rangers. That type of stuff. Yeah, they don't want anything too rowdy. There's a junkyard coming up on the right. Oh, yeah. Up about a couple miles, whatever, five or so. I like going to that one for parts on occasion. Oh yeah. Depending on what I need, yeah, they I can, can actually find a lot of parts, and they're actually willing to get parts out of other junkyards, bring it to this one, and sell it to you. Huh. So if you have a part, let's just say you need a transmission for your car, right? Yeah. Most junkyards, all oh, we don't have any, and that's as far as it'll go. Yeah. When they can search and help you out. They don't. You know? Yeah. This junkyard will get on the internet, check with other junkyards, see what they have, buy it from them, and then sell it to you. Huh. Any kind of a markup on that, or...? The only thing I think they really do is 
I think if, if they do a markup, it's like 10 percent, if that, five percent markup, you know. Mm. If if they mark up at all, I don't know. I suppose they probably. They, uh, if there's like if the one junkyard's too far away, they just ask. Well, they, they'll they'll cover the cost of gas getting it there, and then just you pay the price. Mm. You know that type of thing. I suppose if it's far enough away and there's enough shipping they ask that you probably cover it. Huh? If there's shipping costs like from FedEx or UPS or something. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's yeah, the one coming up here on the right. There's a red building in the background. Fence around it, the tree line, you know? Yeah. That's the junk here. Huh. Sweet. Usually if I want harder to find parts, those that's the one I go to. Huh. Good Very for hard for me to find parts locally for this uh, vehicle used. Oh, so right. I have to come here to find them. I suppose because your car's so old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All parts auto. That's the name of it. Yep. Now, if memory serves me right, um, the next town we're coming up on is Georgetown, right? No. Yeah, about as small as Craigness. You want to go through there at all, or do you just want to <laughs> keep on going? Maybe a quick drive through. No matter what. Yeah. Just to give everybody an idea what some of these really tiny towns are like. Ah. Yeah, I got to admit. What's up? I was saying I got to admit that uh, at least in the Red River Valley here, not a lot going on. Personally, I find it more interesting when you get to places east of here. If you get down, get down to whether it be Wapiton and Breckenridge. I still want to hit up Chahinka Pazoo. Oh yeah. Even if it's like eight or ten bucks to get in, it's worth it. Oh, agreed. I mean, they've always been a pretty good zoo. I thought. That one there, when I was in good shape, in real good shape, yeah. if I rushed through that uh, zoo, it would still take me two and a half hours to get through it. And that's with you rushing through. And that's, that's me skipping certain things and rushing. It would still take two and a half hours. Yeah, so I think uh, imagine what it's like now with you being considerably out of shape now. and I've slowed down quite a bit. I just... I want to smell the roses, so to speak. Yeah, I think you and I, I are just, both. I don't, I don't want to rush like I used to. I don't blame you. Now would be like four or five hours to get through here. Oh, you could literally spend most of a day there. Sure, I could spend all day there if I wanted to. Oh, easily. Wouldn't bother me, won't do it. Yeah. And just like uh, Craigness. If you hang a right, you're going to Felton. Yeah. You have a hanger right here, you can go to Felton. You hang a left, you go right to Georgetown. And pretty much just like Craigness, you gotta have the grain elevator and you don't get much else. You know how bad I want to start dumpster diving? Oh. trailer park up behind the uh, one building here. Yeah, I think it's like 10 or 12 homes there. There's the bar. Yep. Gotta have one of those in a small town. Yeah, 
Yeah, some residential down this way. Do you want to go that way? I don't care. Looks like the community center up as well. I'm pretty sure you're right on that one. And again, you know you got a small town when you can have a trailer on a lot like this. They used to have a lot of homes in that right up here. Yeah. Then they had to take them out and put the dike due to a lot of flooding. Yeah. This town flooded a lot every spring. Yep, you get the church over here, which is standard for a small town. You gotta have at least one lawn. Yep. And beyond this little shed over here is an old uh, elementary school. And we'll be going by that in about a minute. Yep. This road wraps and goes down on the uh, east side of it. Yeah. Small park over here. You know I've got a dilemma. Yeah. If we go up and around we can kind of show the river a little bit. Uh -huh. Then get up so far turn around and come back. Huh. If you feel like it, go for it. I can't remember which river this is. I think it's still... See, yeah. It's not the Buffalo. No, the Buffalo, I think, is... Uh, Further east. Yeah. Red River, I'm thinking. Is it? I think so. You're always showing that freaking plastic. Oh, sorry. What do you do? You focus on that. Yeah. It's like anybody wants to watch that. Uh-huh, I understand that. Definitely. There's a good spot to do some squatching in. A. I mean, A. camp or sleep for the night if you need to. Oh, easily. <laughs> Caution, dangerous crossing ahead. <laughs> That's a little bridge we were across. Yeah. It's up here. Yep. That's, that's referring. Yeah, then I can understand where they're warning a person. You know how many times I've seen this one washed out? Oh, more times than I know you and I can care to count. It rains just enough and it's getting washed out. Yep. And you wonder why they have so many branches and other crap around here. If you ever want to heat your home during the wintertime, free wood. <laughs> Seriously, who's gonna complain about that? I can't think of anybody that would. Grab some, cut it up, and you got free free heat come winter. Oh indeed. <laughs> Lower your heating bill. Yeah. Hey help. Oh yeah, back to the Small park. Yeah, not much to it. Yeah. Sick. I was gonna say, what the heck is this gold one? A javelin? 
And again, the small town. Like, I first thought when I saw it, I was thinking it was one of them old javelins, but I don't think so. Yeah. You know you're in a small town when you can have all sorts of cars all over the place and basically nobody gives a rat's ass. Yeah, no kidding. Yep. School's been shut down for so long. I don't even remember when they were opened last. I couldn't honestly tell you. Yeah, I hear you on that one. Hi, Mom. <laughs> It's pretty much town. Yeah. Nothing really to it. Used to be a lot more to it until they hit the uh, uh, dike system. Yeah, all for the flood controlling crap. Yeah, sure. Mm. You betcha. Don't you know? Yeah, boy. Nothing, I know nothing. Hmm. Well, it makes me want to go into a Sergeant Schultz routine. That's where I was going. <laughs> About 15, 20 miles straight, uh -huh. 10 miles maybe. You got Felton, Minnesota, yeah, sure. Yeah, really nothing to that town. Yeah, we did film it for one time, it's just video didn't exactly work out too well. Yeah. You know what they always say? Oops. Stuff stuff happens. Yeah. I should know I abuse the privilege. <laughs> you and me both, man. I'm trying to think of what town's next. up this way and I don't remember once we get to Georgetown I don't remember what pattern what city comes in. Yeah and I'll see. I know Crookston is quite a waste. Her, Hurley's up about half hour, 35 minutes from here. Yeah Crookston's quite a ways up there last time I remember. Crookston's up off that way. Yeah. Is that straight ahead? Shit I keep thinking straight ahead. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my memory sucks. I know from Moorhead to Purley it's 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is shut this down for a few. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Yep. Yeah. 